and welcome to ExcelMasterSeries.com. Today we're going to show how to use the hypergeometric distribution to solve problems and we're going to do it in Excel. So let's take a look at our Excel spreadsheet. The hypergeometric distribution is almost the same as the binomial distribution except the hypergeometric uses sampling without replacement. The hypergeometric distribution calculates the probability of a given number of successes for a specified number of trials. Each trial has only two possible outputs, just like the binomial, and the population size from which the samples are drawn is known, and the total initial number of successes available is also known. So let's take a look at a problem that uses the hypergeometric distribution. In this problem, we have a box of candy that initially contains 20 samples. Eight of those are caramel, and 12 of those are nut pieces. And we're going to take four samples out of the box, we're going to use sampling without replacement. Each sample will be eaten. So calculate the probability that three out of the four samples taken will be caramel. And if we take a look at our Excel formula for the hypergeometric distribution, there are four different parameters. Let's take a look at each one of those parameters. The first parameter, sample successes, sample underscore s. This is the value that we are evaluating the problem states calculate the probability that three out of the four samples will be caramel. So sample underscore s is set at three. That's what we're evaluating. And the next parameter is the number of samples that we're going to take. Number underscore samples. And that will be set at four because we're taking four samples. And another parameter in this problem the number of population, that's actually the fourth parameter in the formula, but there are 20 initial pieces available, so number underscore population is 20. And the final parameter, population underscore s, is number of successes initially available is 8. There were initially 8 caramels available. So plugging those numbers into the Excel formula, calculate the probability that 3 out of 4 samples taken will be caramel if 8 of those initially were caramel out of 20 initial samples and sampling without replacement we have an answer that there's a 13.87% that three out of the four samples taken will be caramel. Now let's take a look at our interactive Excel chart. You can make this chart very easily yourself. And at the end of this video, we'll give you instructions on how to purchase an e-manual to make charts like this and do all these calculations in Excel. And there are three different interactive parameters the number of successes we're evaluating, number of samples, and a number of population. The x-axis is the number of successes initially available. If we, if we take the cursor and put it above eight initial caramels available and touch the chart, we see that the value, the probability of three out of four samples will be caramel, is the same as the value that we calculated with our formula. So let's vary some of these parameters, changing the initial number of candies available from 20 to 10. We see that change reflected in the chart. Put it back to 20, there's our original chart. And number of samples taken, four, let's change that to eight. That moves the chart like that. Calculate the probability that six of those samples will be caramel. And this is our interactive chart. Let's put our original numbers back. And as we said at the end of this video, we'll give you instructions on how to purchase an e-manual that you can make charts and just like this and do all of these calculations in Excel. And become an Excel statistical master. If you would like to master MBA level statistics in Excel, check out our Excel Statistical Master series of e-manuals at www.excelmasterseries.com slash emanual.php. Thank you very much and goodbye.